I'm about to get in bed with Joan, and I know what you're thinking. And you know what? You're right. It's gonna be on. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Joan Rivers, you're not. And the show is called In Bed With Joan, and let's get right to it. Let's see who's coming out of my closet today. Hello? Hello, ah, Joan. Carmen Electra. Oh, my yeah. Okay. Hi. Oh, oh, you are so beautiful. Thank you. I love this. Oh, thank you. Just something I stole. <laughs> I'm about to steal it. First question out of the box. Nobody realizes what a good sense of humor you have. And then they started putting you into all those parody movies, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Who figured it out? Because you're such a sex symbol. They wouldn't think that you would get the jokes that you could do a parody movie. I've, you know, actually, I've had a good sense of humor my entire life. Um, I've always loved to make people laugh. Uh, in school, I was a class clown. A I, class I, clown? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Constant, like, just always doing something for a reaction. And I, I think that I'm probably like that because of insecurities, actually. What insecurities? Let me hear about the insecurities. I'm sitting here, <laughs> two feet in the grave, <laughs> overweight, broken out, fake no, hair. No, I am. Insecurities. I am. Your yeah. makeup artist just covered a huge zit on my oh, forehead. Oh, oh, don't go on. <laughs> Yeah, let me hear some more insecurities. No, um, actually, I was, really, I was super, super shy, and you know, I couldn't even get up in front of my class and read a book report. Everyone that knows me knows I'm probably one of the most insecure people in the world, and that's probably why some, I come off right larger than life or tough. You were with badass men. You know, uh, Dennis Robin, Prince, uh, David Navarro. Three bad. I know. I know badasses. I dated uh, John Wilkes Booth, so I. Uh, oh God! He would just sit there and have pictures of Lincoln and. You know. I like bad boys. I mean, I don't know what it is. I'm attracted to. Maybe it's more so you know people that uh, that have that are different, that you know aren't afraid to be themselves. But what that are entertaining. <laughs> but now, you're reaching a time in life mm -hmm. where, as my mother used to say, time, you figured it out. Mm -hmm. What if, like, a really nice dentist came along? <laughs> it's not going to happen. No. You know? <laughs> no, I've thought about... With a about... good practice. <laughs> no, but I've, I, I've, I've actually really thought about yes, that. You yes, know, um Sell yourself. Be smart. <laughs> I know. I've, I've had, you know, I've had a little therapy and a lot of thoughts. And, yeah, yeah. And tried to figure out. But, you know, I, I, I don't know if I could handle the guy that's stuck in traffic and calls me. And it's just like, I can't believe this. This is so unbelievable. I'm sitting in traffic. I'm so irritated. I don't know. I don't know if that's the guy. You know, I, I, but I just like crazy people. Yeah, Dennis, <laughs> who, who we all love, Dennis Rodman, who she was married to, who is Melissa adores him. You know that I love working, and what Melissa always says, just get on the Dennis train and have fun. <laughs> but you not only got on the train, you brought a preacher on that train. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Did that you true. think? When you both wore wedding dresses, this wasn't going to be a traditional marriage. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What about Prince? Was Prince Prince found you or didn't find you? Prince, the way I've heard the story is Prince kind of discovered you and yeah. he renamed you. Yeah. You were Sheila Lipman before. <laughs> <laughs> and <he> close, <laughs> very close. What, what was your What was your, your name before Prince? My real name is Tara Lee Patrick. So why did he decide to change it? You know, he's legendary, he's an icon. Prince gives you a name, I'll take it, you know. Is so he I ca I small complain. all over? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's very small. He's when about he, my height. Well, oh, maybe he's not a, that, no. 
A little, maybe a little bit. You're four eight. <laughs> Five two, Joan. Please do not take me down. I'm already small enough. Small is good for a woman. Small is good. Okay. Don't you think so? Because a tall man can feel very romantic towards you, and a small man doesn't feel and intimidated. I do, you know, I do hear a lot that men like spinners, and I guess that's what they call. <laughs> Isn't that what What's they? What's a spinner? Um. Uh, a, a, a petite, you know, a uh, more petite woman. I'm, I'm assuming, you know, just that she spins you can... around on the man. Yes, like a top. Yeah, so the man is just <laughs> lying there, and she just spins around like, like a dreidel. But it is uh, like a dreidel. <laughs> there you go. So you had, you were then married to Melissa's friend, David Navarro. David Navarro. Yes. Who I... That was when I met you, when you were married to him. Who I absolutely adore. You know, he, he's an awesome, he's an awesome guy. You know, uh, our time was up, you know, and... Uh, Who knew the time was up first? Well, actually, we, you know, we decided to get married on MTV and have our own reality show. And, it, it you know, the show did really well. Um, you would have stayed but, married. But what brought, I, I think what what sort of slowed everything down um, is the fact we didn't, we, you know, the show brought a lot of attention and so we both were working nonstop. And as you know, you know, as a rock star, he was always on tour in Europe. And, you know, I was shooting, I remember I was shooting a couple movies, so I was in Canada. And little by little, we just weren't taking the, the time that we did to spend together. What did you learn? You know, have you learned, if Mr. Terrific came along now, would you, how much of your career would you give up? Well, I, I you know, I have had a tendency in my past, you know, I'm, I'm usually 100% one way or the other. And my focus is either completely on my career and working um, um, or my relationship. And so I think, you know, now what I've learned is to find a balance. I want to do, I want to go, to Baywatch, but I also want to go back to Playboy. Mm -hmm. The first time you were very nervous, I would assume. Absolutely, yeah. By the fourth time, you just say, shoot the cooch, let's go to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, are we gonna shoot all day? I yeah. mean, does this have to be a, you know, a 12 hour shoot or can right. we just do this? At the time, the landing strip was very popular. So I went with that, I went with the landing strip. Um, my very last time, you know, shooting for the 55th anniversary, which was a couple years ago, um, you know, it was full on, you know, and that's kind of what's in, you know, the Brazilian. So I, I that's, yeah. But do they tell you that or they just leave it to you? They leave it to you. What about going out to the other thing I would ask you, Baywatch, mm -hmm. you replaced Pam Anderson. Was it easy to walk in? Was it hard? Did you get good fan mail? Did you get bad fan mail? And did you know it was a comedy? Or did you take it very seriously? <laughs> no, I, I thought every day was a comedy. I saw the comedy in every every shoot, every scene, and and that probably was the hardest thing for me because, you know, um, you know, it was a sp supposed to be a serious show, <laughs> um, but then when you're running on the beach in slow motion, in the small, I mean, literally, the red bathing suit, it just, it was smaller. It became smaller and smaller. You were also inducted into, which I love, the Bikini <laughs> Hall of Fame. Yeah. When I was offered this wonderful opportunity, um, <laughs> you no, know, to get bronzed and you to be- You got bronzed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How yeah. do they bronze you, do they like put you have to lean over into um, this liquid uh, paste, if you will, that, uh, you know, forms your breasts. Do you wear ah, anything? I wore a bikini top. Okay, and then you lean over? You, and you lean over and you let it dry a little and then you sort of pull yourself out. And, and uh, now it is displayed in Texas. <laughs> Bikinis Texas at the Bikini Bar, and I was actually the first, you know, to uh, to be 
put up on the floor. You I are fanning you. yourself. I know. It was one of those things, Joan. Oh, I, that listen, a buck sounded, is a buck. It sounded so ridiculous. It's, I think it's great. But I figured, you know what? I have a good sense of humor. Yes. And they're Did, not, well, obviously they're not real. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, you know, who, <laughs> who I? doesn't know that? Sure, you can feel them. Yeah, they look great. No, fe no really feel them. Well, Come on, I, don't, I, don't, don't just half step on yeah. me. Poke. Well, I mean, come on. You feel mine, and I'll okay, feel yours. Okay, okay, No, no, down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to grab the whole thing. You know what? I'm... Yours feel, but they feel very soft and real. Well, I had a little, I had a little bit to begin with, and I think that has something to do with it. Um, but of course, you know, I bigger, 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 because more, more, more. Whatever. Why do men love breasts so much? Well, I think, I think it's all about the ass now, to be honest. I mean, I literally, I've seen some asses walk by that I have to look and I have to appreciate. Like, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'm the first kind of girl that will walk up to someone and say, damn, you have a nice ass. I think it's, you know, I think it's ass now. But, I, but, but if we want to go back to breasts, um, since we're covering everything. If absolutely. <laughs> I mean, we've, we've talked about the cho-cha. Yes. Yeah. The breasts the, the and breath. now I'm still I'm still envisioning you <laughs> dipping over. Did you get paid I'm, for that or is it just an honor? It's a it's an honor. But you know it, <laughs> They're not gonna be like that forever. Well so might as well capture it yes. while they're you I, know. I'm so absolutely. see this I love your attitude. I'm not making a joke. <laughs> I, no, because you know it's there and you know it's important. And you wrote the book. Yes, you wrote the book. How to be sexy. You know what's important. You said to your I mother, "I'm going to wear a, I do have tight a jeans. I'm going to look good." <laughs> and you wrote the how you to be sexy is very easy, but for give give three tips out there. There's somebody sitting out there right now, probably eating some Fritos and a big Coke. How does she get sexy? In to me, I think people that are confident in, in who they are, I think that's one of the sexiest qualities ever. Now, we have some people that have asked us. Oh, boy. Oh, no. The, no, these are people that I'm have nervous. tweeted. I'm nervous. No, no. You don't have to answer anything you don't want to. Okay. You don't have to answer anything okay. you want to. Okay. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Can I go back to, like, how nice your breasts are, though? Thank you. <laughs> they feel really good. Well, you... <laughs> You were in virgin territory there. It was just, <laughs> it's been so Am long. I the first woman? No, uh, I doubt that. No, no, no. No, no. No, no, no. Because it's I did watch your Ellen. episodes. I do watch your reality show, and you had a thing I for had, a second. I tried. Where you were Did you ever try? I thought, I better go. Before I die, let me you see. You want to experience this? Yes. I, I want to know. Yes. Um, yes. Well, I, I may have kissed a girl or... Two or three. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I you love women. I love women. I can appreciate beautiful women. Um, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I oh, love, yeah, sure. That's fine. I love women and I love men. That, and speaking of that, Matsus, <laughs> M A T E U S Z, okay, says, was Prince a good lover? And what period of your career do you consider the most successful? Who gives a shit about that? Was Prince a good lover? Uh, am I allowed to plead the fifth? You just say I don't want to answer it. I'm not saying uh, either way. That but, means he wasn't. But okay. I know. No, I'm not saying that. But I, you know, he is a very, very private person, and I do respect. I respect his privacy. Okay. Did you know when he was in you? <laughs> I died. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was a good, uh, that's a good one. That was a good one. Who was, uh, oh, this is true, okay. uh, which I think was such a compliment. Dennis Rodman has said, and I'm sure you've heard this, he said he's had thousands of women over his lifetime. Sure. And you <laughs> rank in the top ten. I better be number one. <laughs> I thought it was a compliment. I mean, we on this part of the show, we usually have <laughs> our guests turn to the camera and we give them a chance either 
to apologize to someone that maybe in your childhood or oh. even yesterday that you did something wrong to and you're sorry. Or conversely, someone that was mean to you and you want to say, look where I am now. I once had a manager who was managing Pam and Jenny. His name's Ray and Ray, <laughs> if you're watching. I proved you wrong. Would you like to give him a finger wave? A finger? <laughs> yeah. That's great. Okay, come move over here to me, my sweetheart. Melissa, come on in. Come sit. Slide over. Okay. <clears throat> Look at this. Oh, I know. It's okay. depressing, isn't it? Depressing. And I'm in flip flops. I'm at least going to take off my flip flops. <laughs> Hi. So we're going to play a game. Okay. And so I'm going to give you two choices. One stays. Gets to live, one gone forever. Okay. And you've got to tell me why. Oh, God. Okay. okay. We're start easy. Salt or sweet? Sweet. I love sweet. So you're a sweet person, not a salt person? I like salt as well, but if I had to choose, I would go with sweets, definitely. Chick flick or action flick? Chick flick. Really? Mm -hmm. See, I would pick you because of the badass men to want to keep action movies. I'm not really into action movies. No. But do you like the men in action movies more than the men in the chick flicks, clearly? Not necessarily. I, uh, I, I... Yeah, come on, the action guys are much more badass than... They're actors. Good They're point. acting badass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This tells a lot about a person. Okay. Mac or PC? Mac. You're a Mac girl? Hell yeah. I can't work a PC, personally. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. PC, like, come on. Deaf or blind? Ooh, that's hard. Deaf or blind? Unfortunately, as much as I love music, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say, I would be deaf if I had to choose. Really? Yeah. Because I wouldn't want to, oh, yes. I'd always want to see everything and you can read lips and, you know. Okay, here's the big one. Oh, God. Moment of truth. John Travolta <gasps> or Tom Cruise? Travolta in Greece, 110%. Absolutely. There you go. All right. It's just been great. Carmen, come back anytime. I would love we'll to. We'll sit here and we'll just... We'll laugh, laugh and cry. And cry and, and talk and about And get life. raunchy. Oh, not us. Oh, never. <laughs> I'm going to call my never. rabbi now, and I'm just going to dreidel away the night. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, Carmen Electra. Yeah. And would you do us the honors? We, we clap. For the Susha. clapper. The clapper. Turn off the lights. All right. I just finished being in bed with Joan, and oh my god, it was awesome. She's really good. <laughs> I mean, good at what she does. <laughs> um, we went deep. We talked about inspirational things. We got a little ratchet. I really was impressed with Carmen Electra because we had her on Fashion Police, and she was, she was okay. But here, she was funny. She was smart. She was sad. She cried. She was open. I, she's terrific. The only thing is, after spending all that time with her, I don't see what men see in her.